हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस एंड क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल्स फैक्टराइजिंग द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल्स व्हिच हैव लार्ज कोफिशिएंट्स हैज ऑलवेज बीन अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स आई गेट सो मेनी क्वेरीज ऑन माय व्हाट्सएप एंड अदर सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स हाउ टू सिंपलीफाई द मिडिल टर्म स्प्लिटिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू समथिंग वेरी स्पेशल एंड following these rules which i tell you in this video you will be able to factorize any quadratic polynomial like very large coefficients here you can see there is a 44 also and in subsequent questions i'll be taking two digit coefficients and even three digit coefficients also and you will see how a little smart work will help you in factorizing all these polynomials very very accurately and in less amount of time very helpful for all the school students who are studying in class 8th 9th 10th level uh, and cracking multiple choice questions will be really easy if you follow this trick so if you have not click the subscribe button till now please do it now and also click the subscribe uh, button along with the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of the future uploads watch the entire video uh, to learn the concept and then Put in two hours of practice so that you feel comfortable with this concept. So let's go. The first thing is the coefficients are very large, and middle term splitting is difficult. So let's simplify the middle term splitting process first. Before that, I'll tell you one step which will help you in factorization in just how many one two two steps. That's it. See here we have five x square, right? So the first thing I am going to do is to have two factors in the brackets, and both the factors just ignore this square here, and you have a five x, and so I'll write a five x here and a five x here. Now, what is the second part? Now these these are not the factors. We will have one more step after which you will have your final answer. Now the middle term splitting part. So we all know. whenever you have a quadratic polynomial like this one we have to find two numbers or two integers whose product is the product of the first and last coefficients and whose sum or difference is the middle number here negative 9 right that a very very difficult task right so let's simplify this 5 times 44 i'm just ignoring the negative sign as of now okay so i want to split these numbers or this product into two factors whose sum or difference is 9 okay so 44 and 5 is not going to give me a 9 so what will i do 5 is a prime number i'll keep that uh, as it is 44 i can break it down as 4 times 11 that's the easiest uh, factorization of 44 right now let's see if we regroup these three into two factors whose sum or difference is 9 my job is done so what about combining 4 and 5 which gives us 20 and then having 11 as it is now can we get a 9 using 20 and 11 we can right 20 minus 11 is 9 and that works so 20 and 11 are going to be my factors but what about the sign i need a negative 9 here right so the larger one will be negative and the smaller one will be positive now these two integers negative 20 and plus 11 i have to write here in this second part of each bracket negative 20 and plus 11 you can swap them you can write plus 11 here or negative 20 here that doesn't matter the order in which you write the factors it doesn't matter in quadratic polynomial factorization right now is that the final answer not at all i can see a common factor here in this bracket the highest common factor between 5x and 20 is 5 so what will i do in this step i will eliminate the hcf from each bracket now this is the important step so 5x and 20 if i divide both of them by 5 because 5 is the highest common factor this 5 will get cancelled so i'll have an x here minus 
20 upon 5 is 4. Now you see there is no other common factor in the bracket and 5x plus 11 I don't think there is any common factor here. So 5x plus 11 will be retained as it is thereby giving us the factorization of 5x square minus 9x minus 40 as x minus 4 and 5x plus 11. Now this is the first example and I'm sure you know most of you will say this is quite lengthy but as we progress through the video and I'll show you more examples having larger coefficients you will realize that the method is not difficult it just take uh, you know takes a time to practice it and put it in our behavior. Let's have one more example. Here you can see now the coefficients are all two digit coefficients whether uh, this uh, quadratic polynomial or this quadratic polynomial is to be taken up. Now 21x so I have to ignore the square right so I'll put a bracket starting with 21x close it and then another bracket starting with the same number 21x and then close it. Now what about the factors 21 times 15 I'll write here 21 times 15 and I need to get it 26. Now 21 and 15 is not going to give me a 26. Even if I add them, I get a 36. If I subtract them, I get a 6. So this is not going to work. Now I have to break it down into smaller factors. So 21 is 3 times 7. I can write 3 times 7 here. And 15 is 3 times 5. See, I have broken it down into smaller factors. Now, can we regroup them and get to integers which on addition or subtraction gives me this number 26? Of course, we can. Just check 7 times 5, 35 and 3 times 3, 9. 35 and 9, the difference between these two is 26. And since this is positive 26, the larger one will be positive and smaller one will be negative. So plus 35 minus 9. Just write them here plus 35 and minus 9. You can write minus 9 and plus 35 also. No worries. And now remove the highest common factor from each bracket. If you check here 21 and 35 the highest common factor is 7. So if I divide this by 7 I get 3x. Divide this by 7 I get 5. In the second bracket, 21 and 9 are divisible by 3. So, if I divide this by 3, I get 7x. And if I divide this by 3, I get 3. And so, the factorization of 21x square plus 28, 26x minus 15 is 3x plus 5 and 7x minus 3. Now, see the number of steps have reduced and I think you will be feeling more comfortable. I'll take two or three more examples with larger coefficients now and we'll try to eliminate the steps also so that we can uh, reduce the time uh, to be taken for factorizing such polynomials. Here we have negative 11. So in the beginning I have to ignore the 2 here, the power. So I have a 15x and my factors will begin with 15x. Now the second part, 15 times 56. So 15 times 56, 15 and 56 is not going to give me 11 in any case, right? So what do I have to do? I have to split it into smaller factors and those smaller factors obviously are 15 is 3 times 5 and 56 is 8 times 7, 8 sevens are 56. So if required, I will break 8 also, but let's recombine these. I want the 11. So if you do 5 and 7, this is 35 and when you do 8 and 3, you have 24 and see the difference between 35 and 24 is 11 and it works, right? So negative 11 means larger one is negative and smaller one is positive. So minus 35 and plus 24. So you can write them in any order in the brackets, negative 35 and plus 24. Now finally, remove the common factors, the highest common factor, 15 and 35 divisible by 5. So this becomes divided by 5 means 3x, divided by 5 means 7, 15x and 24 I think divisible by 3. 
So if you divide this by 3, you get 5x. And divide this by 3, you get 8. And since there are no more common factors in the two brackets, this is the factorization of the huge polynomial 15x square minus 11x minus 56. Likewise, we can go on and on and solve so many different problems. I have taken two more problems here. You can see we have a 91 here and a 117 here. And still the method works well. Let's check. So I'll be a little quicker now. 12x because I have to remove the square. And then 12x in the second bracket also. Now 12 times 91 is, I don't want to multiply these. I want to get a 64, right? So I will factorize them further and break down 12 as 2 times 6 and 91 as 13 times 7, right? 13 sevens are 91. And now let's combine 2 and 7 which gives me a 14 and combine 13 and 6 which is 78. Now the difference between 78 and 14 is 64, see? And so since this is negative, the larger one will be negative and smaller one will be positive. Now that is the only thing you need to understand here. If you understand this step, then the factorization is not going to consume more than 10 seconds. Okay, so negative 78 and plus 14. And now remove the highest common factor, 12 and 78. I think they are divisible by 6. So 6 twos are 12 and 6 13 times is 78 here we have 2 as a common factor so 6x and then plus 7 and here we go the factors of this huge quadratic polynomial are 2x minus 13 and 6x plus 7 likewise you have the last question there and let's uh, perform the same steps here so this starts with 40x and the other factor starts with 40x as well. Now, 40 times 117. Now, 40 times means, now this is 4 times 10, right? And this is 13 times 9. 13 nines are 117. So, let's group them now. I need a 38. So, 10 times 9 is 90. And 13 times 4 is 52. And the difference between 90 and 52 is 38. Negative 38 means larger negative and smaller positive. So write negative 90 and positive 52 in the two brackets. And remove the highest common factor. 10 is the common factor here. So this becomes 4x minus 9. And what is the common factor here? I think they are divisible by 4. So 4, 10 x and 4 13 so plus 13 and that is the prime factor uh, the factorization of 40 x square minus 38 x minus 117 middle term splitting is not a difficult task you know you just need to be smart breaking down the product of the first and the last coefficients into smaller uh, factors and then regrouping them to get two numbers whose sum or difference gives you the middle term now if you develop this tendency then these two steps are not at all a problem. So I hope you have understood how to factorize these uh, you know, quadratic polynomials with large coefficients. And uh, if you do so uh, you know, and feel comfortable and do it in 15 to 20 seconds time each, then you will be among top 1% of the students who can do this. So practice it uh, for two hours, take 30, 40, even 50 such questions and then apply it in the exams to solve the multiple choice questions. I'm sure you are going to perform very well. So all the best for your practice.